Fast X wasted Fast and Furious best villain in 12 years, but two upcoming films can fix it. While the Fast saga is heading toward its ending, there are at least two more confirmed Fast and Furious movies in the works. One of them is the upcoming Fast and Furious 11, which is currently titled Fast X, Part 2 and will serve as a direct follow-up to Fast X's ending. Considering Fast X's disappointing box office run, the saga will have to regain momentum if it wants to end on a high note. Fast and Furious has several tropes, including having villains with a personal or even professional grudge against Dominic Toretto and his team. This trope was taken to the next level with Fast X's Dante Reyes, who spent all of the film making sure Toretto would pay for what happened to Hernan Reyes in Rio during the events of Fast Five. Dante targeted not only Toretto but also everyone close to him, and every action he took was part of a larger plan to make Dom suffer. This unstoppable quest for revenge made Dante a fascinating villain. Fast X wasted Jason Momoa's Dante Reyes. Fast X was not as good as its villain. Jason Momoa's Dante Reyes was an incredible villain, but Fast X did not live up to the character. While it may seem paradoxical that a flawed movie delivered a great villain, there are plenty of films in which the antagonist stole the show despite the movie's issues. Momoa's Dante was the highlight of every Fast X scene he was in, and it is safe to say he was the best thing about the movie overall. Still, as great as Dante was, Fast X was very disappointing, especially when compared to some of Fast and Furious' best movies. As the beginning of the end for Fast and Furious, the bar was high for Fast X. After several promises of one last ride, Fast and Furious was finally about to deliver its long-awaited finale, or at least the first part of it. Rather than a celebration of the saga or an exciting setup for Fast and Furious 11, Fast X was a convoluted film with a weak story, predictable moments, and empty action sequences. Fast X's problems were reflected in the movie's critical and commercial reception, and it is arguably one of the worst entries in the franchise. Jason Momoa's Dante Reyes was Fast and Furious' best villain since Hobbs. The Rock's Hobbs stole the show in Fast Five. Jason Momoa's Dante Reyes in Fast X and Dwayne Johnson's Hobbs in Fast Five. Fast X's issues are made worse by the fact that its villain, Dante Reyes, was the best Fast and Furious antagonist since The Rock's Luke Hobbs from Fast Five. While Hobbs has since become a member of Dominic Toretto's family and even led his own spin-off movie, the character was first introduced as a villain in 2011's Fast Five. Hobbs was the first Fast and Furious villain to truly feel like a threat to Brian and Toretto, the latter of whom was already turning into a superhero by that point.